Hey YouTube, I'm gonna continue my series of talking to you guys about hidden gems on every single team in college football for the 2024 season. If you wanna see all the previous hidden gems that have been covered, go ahead and hit the playlist. You can see all the hidden gems. But we're currently on Vanderbilt, and I've been looking at Vanderbilt's roster, and I've been thinking about the guys I wanna tell you about, and yeah, I'm extremely excited for Diego Pavia playing in the SEC if he wins the starting quarterback job. And if you didn't know, Vanderbilt had three spring games, three scrimmages, if you will. They weren't open to the public. They were only open to the media. I've watched every interview. I've read every article I can about it. And I'm paying attention to how players perform in the spring because I just need to know who's going to be in the starting lineup. I already know the players. <laughs> I've watched a ton of football on these guys. I've been watching them since high school. And if there was one player that I need to bring light and it remind you guys who he is, it's Prince Colley here. So Prince Colley in high school was a high four-star player. I mean, really high. 95, I think they gave him a score of right there, 95. That is extremely high for a four-star. He was a muscle-bound monster. If you go back and watch all this tape, all you're going to see is a physical specimen taking over games hitting everybody knocking them dead doing his thing it's impressive and you can understand why coming out of high school he was recruited by frank lee by clark lee excuse me whoo by clark lee and he goes to notre dame and he's at notre dame and he finds himself on the depth chart he finds himself trying to earn playing time but can't quite get there he gets on the field just a little bit you see it here back in 2021 just a tad 13 13 tackles no big deal then he hits the transfer portal and he follows his old recruiter coach defensive coordinator and he follows him over to vandy and you get to vandy and you got to just remember that vanderbilt is the sec there, if you can't play at notre dame you can't play at vanderbilt there's good players everywhere that's the reality of the situation. So Prince Colley gets there, and he's behind the power curve learning the scheme. He's not quite as fluid as some of the other starters, so he doesn't play much last year. But by all accounts, this offseason, he's, he's closed that gap. There's no longer that gap of thinking. He can just react, go and do things, and he looks like the player you need. So now this is a will side linebacker. If you don't know anything about linebackers, there's a will, a Mike and a Sam, okay? Sam typically means strong side linebacker, meaning the guy who lines up over the tight end on the strong side, sometimes the wide side. And Sam linebackers got to be able to set the edge, take on the kickouts, whatever it is. Then you've got M Mike linebackers or middle linebackers. They got to be able to cover the whole field. They're the quarterback of the defense. They know everything. They're going to have that little green sticker on their helmet, hum helmet communications this year. And then there's the weak side linebacker. That's your will. And he's probably the most athletic of all the linebackers. He's got to run sideline to sideline. Got to just fill up gaps. And yes, sometimes the will, he gets that coverage assignment on the slot receiver. Sometimes, depending on scheme, depending on what you call, whatever it is. But the point is, is Prince Cauley is your will linebacker. 6'1", 220. He's a muscle-bound monster. Pound for pound, one of the strongest guys you'll see. There's a bunch of pictures of him all over the internet where he's just yoked, just yoked. I'm ready for him to come out and play. I'm excited for a lot of the players at Vandy. If you guys don't know, they got so many transfers from New Mexico State. I've been a huge New Mexico State guy for at least two years now. If you're an MVP, you know this. We bet on them every single week. I believe in New Mexico State wholeheartedly. Shout out to Jerry Kill. Shout out to Tim Beck. Um, the thing about them is they went out and dominated Auburn last year. And I knew they would. I didn't say bet on it, but I knew it was going to happen. No, no, no. I did not predict that. But I did always believe in them every single week in their conference. So to see a lot of those great players – transfer to Vandy and say, yo, I can put it, I can do it. I can do it. You can do it, put your back into it, right? So I'm excited to see what happens with Vandy. I think there's potential there. But if there was a hidden gem you guys needed to know about, Prince Colley. Your friends don't know, but Rico knows. Let's go.